I am very disappointed. We went through a process earlier this summer prior to hiring Mike Babcock as our head coach, but we got it wrong and that's on us. I can promise you we will learn from this moving forward. I also understand the criticism that we are getting. It is deserved, but we can all, all we can do now is learn from it and do everything we can to help our coaches and players get ready for the season. My excitement about our team and what we can accomplish this season has not changed and we are looking forward to going north. We understand the expectations of ownership and we will continue to be evaluated every day. That's part of the job. We understand that but our focus right now is on our players and our coaches and getting ready for this season. I know this is a major misstep that we have to move past. I would like to thank the NHL and I would like to thank the NHL Players Association. When we first heard of these issues, uh, when we had discussions with both of those groups, we welcomed an investigation. They were very transparent with the information we received. We digested the information. And from there, in talking with uh, Mike Babcock, we decided there was no going back. Uh, the re resignation went forward from that point on. This morning, I had a meeting with the players and I apologized for any inconvenience, awkward um, situation that this may have put them up in. And um, it, it was, my sincere apology to, to them. I'm extremely disappointed by what has transpired over the last week. We understood the dynamics of hiring Mike before we did so and understand the criticism now that it didn't work out the way we had planned. Mike was hired on based on personal relationships we've had with him. The feedback we'd received from numerous people in the game that we know and respect and extensive conversations with Mike. It's obviously fair to question our due diligence, but I can assure you that it was done thoroughly. At the end of the day, I believe that Mike Babcock deserved another opportunity to coach. Obviously that was a mistake and that responsibility is mine. I do not believe there were any ill intentions on Mike's part in the way he conducted interviews with our players to get to know them. However, whether there was intent or not, some of our players weren't comfortable with his methods and that was concerning. As we gathered information and had numerous discussions both internally and externally, it became very clear that the distractions caused by this were too great and were having a negative impact on our players. As a result, we came to a conclusion with everybody involved in the process that the best course of action was for Mike to step down and Pascal Vincent to take over as the head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets. How difficult do you think it will be for the room to move past this? I guess this could go one of two ways. It could galvanize a group or it could fracture a group. Did, can you have a sense coming out of your meeting today, which, which direction that is right now? Your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I had a meeting with the uh, leadership group yesterday separately and then with the whole team this morning. And, and I believe that they are um, ready to move past this. They want to move past this. Um, they want to use it uh, as, uh, as something that can make us stronger. They're all excited about this year. And, um, you know, I, I just just uh, before coming here, talked to uh, our captain as well. They all want to want to move forward and and uh, just concentrate on what we're uh, here to do. And and um, that's starting uh, tomorrow with the medicals, or on Wednesday with the medicals, and Thursday on the ice. What happened was the PA came in, talked to their players privately, which is absolutely their right. They were in touch with Gary Bettman. They had been in touch with me too, and I helped facilitate making sure this is happening the right way. We're completely open, transparent, want it done properly. I got a call when we were up in Traverse City at our rookie tournament from Gary Bettman. Actually, I was in a restaurant, and I went up running out and sat in the car by myself. 
There was Gary and his whole staff, including Bill Daly on the call, and there was the PA staff on the call. And they filled me in with uh, what had transpired through their investigation. And with that, I went to uh, Yarmo and our group, Mike Priest, who represents our ownership, and we started the process of what we were going to do. We had to digest it, figure it out. And with that, uh, Yarmo uh, ended up meeting with Mike Babcock, and basically there was going to be no end to this. This is what we had to do, and the resignation process started at that point. That's the exact traffic. This is going to sound a little bit, he was a player, I was a player. We have to understand our players, and the, it wasn't going to work with our players. It just wasn't going to work, so we had to go forward. Sometimes you just flat out make the mistake. We made a mistake. I'm, I'm free to sit up here and tell you that. And to our fans, I think some were excited, some were going, ooh, what's this going to be about? It didn't work. Uh, I, I, uh, I think as a group, we owe them um, the explanation and apology. But we're also very comfortable in going forward with Pascal. Once we get through this, he's a good coach. He's a, he's a terrific human being. So we have to look in that direction. We've learned. There's nothing more than I can say that we've learned.